So my identity empowers me just because I know who I am. And when I go out there, if people be like, you know, who are you? Who, Who's Naren? I'll be like, I know, I know who I am, you know, this is me. And it's nice to because like, you're just confident. You know what you, who you are and what you are, you know? <laughs> <laughs> identity for me is i think just your background and your history so culture history and just like childhood as well and just growing up as well that's that's just what makes you who you are I'm from a Mongolian background, so my parents were very strict, like typical Asian parents. But there was this point of my life when I realised, you know, I was a rebel. I was like, you know what, like, I don't want that. I just start realising what I wanted, what I disliked and what I liked. And then it just became like a natural flow. And now here I am, <laughs> you know. <laughs> to me, I think identity is hard to define it can't be so simple I think it's so many levels of who I am and my personality and, and where I've come from so it's going to be influenced by uh, where I grew up and who I grew up with I don't have a sense of belonging it can be history passion yeah, but I have to say, when I was little and I was younger, I didn't know what identity was because I didn't feel anything about it. But the stereotypes and the media showed me that you need to be someone. And then I wanted to, f to figure it out where I fit in. you always been yourself. And that was um, so huge for me. So I look up to Sabrina very much. And that's, I think that shapes my identity the most. It was the, the big thing when I was younger, that I had one to, to look up to. Mm -hmm. The rules of not fitting in, that made me stronger. And I remember those days when I cried at night because I didn't fit in. And some way, somehow, I, get, I got stronger in myself. It took time. Uh, I couldn't relate to people, and I felt alone. Uh, and that I think all these things, when you don't fit in, doesn't make, makes you not feel comfortable with yourself. And that makes you stronger in the end. I, I guess I started thinking about my identity more when um, I started to realise that maybe I wasn't straight. Because before that, you don't really need to think about it. It's kind of just, you get given, you get given it, you know. Um, and it's just what everyone expects you to be. And until you break the norm, you, you don't have to think about it. It started around my early teens, when I was around 13 and 14, when I started to realize that I was kind of different to my classmates and, you know, the norm. And so I started with um, kind of me expressing myself through makeup, and fashion and different ways for me to just experience and kind of land where I felt more, most comfortable. I mean, it wasn't always easy because being different, you kind of get picked on, unfortunately. But at the end of the day, I am really glad that I did that because um, being true to yourself is really important for you to be happy. Identity is passion. I feel like passion is something that you like doing, what you enjoy. So for me, it's painting, you know, painting on canvas. And that's something that makes me happy. And it's something that I like to do in my free time. And I feel like it's part of my identity. It makes me who I am. It took me a few years to, like, understand who I am and accept it and like it was hard like when I when I first started to realize that I wasn't you know the same as all my friends but because I've like gone through that battle with myself now it feels really empowering to be very vocal and like proud and in the same way 
Um, I'm very into like body positivity. Like I, I don't have always the body that you see in magazines and stuff like that, but it feels empowering to be proud of how I, how my body is and how it looks and be able to post pictures like in bikinis and stuff and be like very happy about it. But doesn't like, that doesn't mean I don't have bad days, but it, that's another way that I feel empowered by it. There's so many ways that being who I am empowers me. Who defines your identity? It's, it's hard because so many different people will meet you in different circumstances have, and have different perceptions of you. When others have expectations on you and they expect you to become this another person, I feel like that you should make your opinion. Like, so if you don't want that, if you don't want to become this and that, you know, just tell them, be like, you know, I don't like where this is going. I don't want to be this person that you want me to become. Just make it clear and bold that, you know, it's not you. Sometimes other people are trying to like decide your identity for you. And at times I just ignore it because at the end of the day, I am the one who's living with myself and really deciding my own identity. I mean, society loves to put a label on everything. Um, but if you don't quite know who you are, then like, who cares? If you, if you don't mind it, then why should anyone else? When I moved to Stockholm, that was the first time that people asked me, who, are you a girl, or are you a boy? And just categorized me and just, uh, it was hard to me, I was in shock, you know? I, I always go into the ladies room and just was, oh no, this is the wrong place. And it, I was in shock because I never have to, to, to stand for those questions. Haven't you ever felt it difficult for people to understand you. Yeah, but it, it doesn't bo bother me so much because I had my friends and my family, and uh, my friends always had suppo um, support me. If someone says to me, are you a girl or a boy? My friends would, do you not see? <laughs> She's a girl. When I was younger, and especially for young people, when they are going through difficult times, may that be with their sexuality, mental health, um, anything like that, like uh, the internet and social media can be a safe place and an educational place. Like I've, I still learn so much from social media every day and I feel like it's made me a much better person because of that. Because you find person where you uh, can relate to. Yeah, and you can yeah. talk to people that live in another country, and you, yeah, and you can learn so much. Because yeah, yeah, the one thing that I think helped me to not limit myself was to talk with other people because I'm I'm really social sometimes, and uh, to per talk about personal things makes you grow. Because I think we people just need use a facade, face. We use a face sometimes, and we don't talk about things that are personal. But you grow when you talk about personal things. I don't know why, but it's an important thing to other people to, they have to define you, they just have to define yeah, you. Exactly, and I, exactly. I didn't feel, if you don't feel comfortable with it, you don't have to do it. And don't do it because other people want you to do it. You don't have to define yourself. Yeah. As one Definitely. person, as, as something, you don't have to define yourself for other people. The, you know who you are. I know who I am. And that's and the e most important thing. Even if you don't thing. know who you are, yeah. it's not a big thing. It's not a big thing. It's not, nothing special. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. That was the most important advice I would give myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't even understand my identity now. And it's not <laughs> important to understand my identity because I think it's fluid and, and it, it's going to change. I know it. Yeah. One part of your identity can be, can be set. Uh, and another part can be fluid because 
I don't know why. I have one identity that's set, that's I in me. And th there's where I come from. And that's my culture. And that thing never changed for me. Yeah, the things you are born with. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> even if, yeah. But I like it, that's why it, maybe it's set because I, I like it. Um, yeah. yeah, and that is something I can never run from. That's my, my, my mother and my, my motherland, you know. Um, I wasn't always clear on my identity. It was never secure, you know. I feel like your identity kind of changes through time. Like you would discover something new every time of yourself. And it's just like, it will keep changing, I feel like, and you should look forward to it. You're constantly growing, you're constantly learning things that will change your identity and how you identify. And that's okay, like it's so, it, like change can be so good for you. And I think as long as you're focusing on being the best you you can be and like being a good person and like looking out for others, like it's it's really good to change and and your identity will change with you so i definitely don't think that you have to have everything figured out i know i don't and that's okay because we're always changing and i'm not the same person that i was a year ago and i probably won't be the same person in a year a lot of people struggle with their sexuality and they like panic that they haven't got a label and things like that and I, th I think people tend to feel like the societal pressure because people just love to give everything a label when it's just not necessary. So you don't need to know who you are yet because it's, it's likely to change. I think it's just important that you are comfortable with your own identity and yourself and kind of being happy with that because I mean, we're always changing depending on the context and people around us and how we get influenced by them. And I mean, it's really hard knowing your identity. So I definitely don't think it's important to know it all. Uh, I mean, if you do want to have, you know, know your identity and be like, this is who I am, this is me, that's great. That's good for you. But like, um, if you don't, and as if you feel comfortable not quite knowing who you are, as long as you don't care, like no one else should, like there shouldn't be that pressure there at all. You are, we are different. We just need to be respected. Even if you don't accept me as I am, you have to respect me. Yeah. Yes, that was a good thing. Respect, not accept. Mm, you're nice, man. Mother, mother. <laughs>